Welcome to this week overview. During this week, we're going to talk about homeostasis. So, what happens when you go outside in the cold? Does your body temperature fall to meet the outside temperature? It does not. And that's a very good thing. Your body only functions when around 37 Celsius degrees. It is vitally important for your body to maintain that temperature. Whether the weather is below freezing or roasting hot, your body's temperature must stay stable and remain close to 37 Celsius degrees. Each organism requires specific condition to function. Maintaining those conditions is necessary for life to continue. Remember that the condition in which an organism's internal environment is kept stable in spite of changes in the outside environment is called homeostasis. So technically we're going to talk about regulating temperature, keeping balance, meeting energy needs, and maintaining water balance. So for example, regulating temperature. When your body temperature starts to fall too low, your nervous system sends out signals to your other systems to take action to warm you up. Your skin, which is part of the integumentary system, develops goosebumps. Your muscles cause you to shiver. You tend to move your large muscles to generate heat. All of these actions help to raise your temperature back to normal. And keeping balance, structures in your inner ear since the position of your head. They send this information to your brain, which interprets the signals. If your brain senses that you are losing your balance, then it sends message to your muscles to move in a way that helps you stay steady. Meeting energy needs. When the cell in your body needs more energy, needs more energy, hormones from the endocrine system signal the nervous system to make you feel hungry. After you eat, other hormones signals your brain to make you feel full. Maintaining water balance. All the chemical reactions that keep you alive take place within the watery environment of your cells. In your body, needs more water than your nervous system. Causes you to feel thirsty. Your senses, muscle, and skeleton take you to a source of water. After you have had enough water, your nervous system causes your thirst to end. Soon after, the water passes through your digestive system to your circulatory system and from there into your cells. Water balance will be restored. Then we're going to talk about managing stress. In general, stress is the reaction of a person's body to potentially threatening, challenging, or disturbing events. Each person experiences stress differently. One person may enjoy taking on the challenge of a math test, while someone else might freeze with fear. Some stress is unavoidable. If stress is over quickly, then the body returns to its normal, healthy condition. However, too much stress for too long a time can be unhealthy. Ongoing stress can disrupt homeostasis and weaken your body's ability to fight disease. Stress also can cause depression, headaches, digestion problem, heart problem, and other health issues. Finding ways to reduce and relieve stress is an important part of a healthy lifestyle. Fighting disease. When your body system are in balance, you are healthy. Germs that cause disease can disrupt homeostasis and make you sick. Think about the last time you had a cold or a strep throat. You may have had a fever and less energy. Your body was devoting resources to the immune system, so it can fight the disease. The immune system includes specialized cells such as white blood cells that attacks and destroys germs, such as viruses and bacteria. When you are sick, these cells temporarily increase in number. Fighting infection sometimes causes your body temperature to go up. As you get well, your fever goes away and your energy comes back. 